What's up guys? Justin here with the Rhino Essential. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to apply different materials to individual surfaces inside of Rhino. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so one of the things you're going to want to know how to do eventually inside of Rhino is you're going to want to be able to apply materials to different parts of objects. So for example, if I jump over into rendered mode right now, so let's say I wanted to apply two different wood materials to this object right here. Well, what I could do is I'm going to jump over into the material mode right here and I'm going to drag this African teak wood material over here and I can apply that to the surface and that looks fine but the problem with it is let's say that I wanted to replace maybe like the edge banding over here with this light birch so it's not really a real world condition but it's a good example so I can't just drag this onto the surface right because it's going to replace the material that's been applied to everything on this object however what you can do is you can use the individual selection function so right now for example if i click on this it's going to select the whole thing but if i hold control and shift on my keyboard and then click on a surface like this that's going to allow me to just select an individual part of an object so in this situation i just have this band right here well, you still can't drag this over, right? If you try to drag it over, it's going to replace the material in here. But what you can do is you can do a control shift and then you can right click on, on an object or right click on a material and you can select the option for assign to objects. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna assign that material to this surface. Whatever, whatever object you have selected, it's going to apply that material to that. So if I wanna do the same thing over here, I would do a control shift just to select this band right here I would right click and I would click on assign to objects. And so let's look at another example. So let's say we have an object like this one and we apply maybe like this cast iron material in here. And I picked these just because they contrast so you can see them really well. Well, let's say that I wanted to, in the middle of this, along this surface right here, apply a band of galvanized steel, right? So in order to do that, I can do a control shift and I can select multiple objects like this. And let's say I wanted these to be galvanized steel I can right click on this material and click on the option for assigned objects. Now I have the cast iron material up above and I have this other material applied to this other part of this object inside of Rhino. All right, so I'm gonna to link to a couple different tutorials on this page. So I'm, gonna, so I'm gonna link to a video about how to resize textures quickly in Rhino, as well as another more in-depth guide to materials in Rhino. But if you have any questions down below, let me know. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.